Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow Sean from Long Island Audit as he once again audits a post office only to show us how dishonest he possibly is. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the stupidity. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the United States Post Office here in Akron, Ohio. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. Activity in this lobby may be monitored or recorded for operational or security purposes. Oh, really? Called as soon as you got on the property. What about that jump cut where you're standing outside and are immediately looking at a sign in the lobby? And then you walk right over, the police officer is standing right there, and she's telling the story of what went on. Clearly you cut out some footage before the call. You, sir, are a douchebag. So the government is allowed to have security against us, but the minute that we want some security and accountability, transparency, that becomes an issue. Okay, well, sir, you cannot record me. I don't give you permission to record. No need to give permission. It doesn't matter. This is not a... a His taxpayers do not pay for this bill. Sir, I feel uncomfortable. If you guys are not going to do nothing, what's your sergeant's name? You can call him. Okay. Give me his number. What's his name? Same number you guys can call him. Ma'am, he's a law enforcement officer. Yeah. He's, he's, he's not a feelings enforcement officer, ma'am. No, he says I can't break the law. He's law enforcement. No, I'm not. Hey, hey, sir, can I just get your name and badge number, please? Yep. This don't make any sense, but this is getting ridiculous. This is the fourth time. I know. I don't know. I don't think it was him last time I was here, but I'm not here for this purpose. And he's not allowed to just point cameras into his face. It's the First Amendment, ma'am. Freedom of press. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to educate, I'm just trying to educate you, ma'am. That's all. Sir, would you mind if I get that name and badge number? I tried to clean that up as best as I could, but it appears that one of the clerks said that this is the fourth time he's been in here doing this. But anyway, let me go ahead and educate you, Sean. This is a clip from a previous video I did where Ass Elmo was doing the exact same thing, only he took the time to read Poster 7 instead of point it out, and now I'm going to show it to you. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. Now let that sink into your tiny brain, Sean. I know like ass Elmo you've read that poster, 
all the way through. It just leaves one of two options, Sean. Either you're completely dishonest and you know what the poster actually says, or you lack reading comprehension skills, which means you have to go back to school. So which is it, Sean? Are you stupid or just dishonest? Pick one. We'd all like to know. Yeah, sure. Well, so far this officer is doing really well. She wants this officer to enforce her feelings, but he's a law enforcement officer, not a feelings enforcement officer. It's freedom of speech. This is America. This is America. You were talking about me. You're trying to have me arrested for nothing. Completely insane. That's true. There's no reason for you to be mad that he's enforcing the law. I'm not breaking the law. You're going to tell her not to say anything, but then you're going to run your mouth? Come on. Call the postal inspector. He'll educate you too. Just like this officer's trying to, because you don't, you don't like what he's saying. You're going to treat him disrespectfully. That's not right. There's, yeah. There's no... Akron Police Department is doing the right thing. What what is what does freedom of speech have to do with being recorded, man? What does that have to do with freedom of speech? It is not against the law. <laughs> you see, look, he doesn't want to do what she wants him to do, so she's gonna treat him disrespectfully. I don't I don't agree with that. I'm an I'm 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 an independent journalist. I'm just working on a story on the post office. That's all. I'm working on a story here. I'm an independent journalist. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Correct. I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. I'm working on a story. That's correct. On the post office. I'm. Oh, yeah. It's for it's for possible publication. Possible publication. I don't know if I'm going to publicize it or, or what the story is going to end up being, but... I'm just working, gathering content, ma'am. That's what I'm doing here. That's it. Not, nothing nefarious, nothing illegal. By walking... Ma'am, before the police officer got here, I was walking around filming the... I know, and I was uncomfortable. You, you felt comfortable that I was recording the walls? You felt... I could see your... No, but you felt uncomfortable that I was recording the walls? I felt uncomfortable. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't help that at all. I mean... Where was I when the police officer got here? Nowhere near you, right? <laughs> Yeah, I was recording. I, I didn't record you. you. I just to know what okay, I was just trying to be forthcoming. Here's your card. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Akron Police Department Officer Sims, 1322. Just doing a great job so far. I can't believe that he has to deal with that rude public servant that's working here. There's no reason for her to treat him that way. Just because he's not, he's not enforcing her feelings and her ignorance of the law, and she's gonna get mad at him. Unbelievable. 
It's like he's damned if he do, does, damned if he doesn't. He's doing the right thing and he still has to deal with a bunch of BS. So the officer came inside. I missed the front end of the conversation. He came inside, there's his car right out here, Akron Police Department. So he came inside while I was just walking around recording nobody in particular and they still want to throw a fit about I'm making them uncomfortable recording the walls. Now that they made a big deal about it, yeah, I'm recording you. You're part of the story. You made yourself part of the story. She said she was going to call the postal inspectors. I hope she does so she can get some sort of education today on the laws and our rights. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much all for his video. There's nothing much that happens after that. But there were several key things that happened in that video. The first being the jump cut from the outside of the building to when he was filming that wall. There had to have been some interaction between him and the clerk. He denies it, but she's telling the story. Something occurred. The police just don't show up that fast. Given the editing of his video, I'm going to say he's just flat out dishonest.